Hey there YouTube, Bad Fat Panda here, and I have another commentary for you guys. Uh, this time it is a uh, hardcore capture the flag on Afghan, but I'm not going to talk that much about the gameplay. Uh, it's pretty self-sufficient, it can go out on its own. Um, it's I'm using the P90 uh, for the large majority of the game with lightweight, a frag grenade, and a deagle. Um, my kill streaks are 5, 6, 7. Um, because precision airstrikes, and it's a challenge that I'm working on, and oh boy, uh, does Hardcore really give you the offer to uh, get a fair amount of precision airstrike kills if you're looking for like 100 more or so and you need you need a game type to go. You don't even need to use Danger Close. It's it's awesome. And um, you can get some pretty grizz frag grenades uh, going. Uh, toward the latter part of the match, I do use the M21. I switch it out a bit. Um, and the Deagle, it was like, what the fuck? Um, unfortunately, it's only a uh, one-shot kill at long range with stopping power, um, as you saw me there. But I was I was sort of pissed that that didn't kill him. I was like, oh damn it! Um, but uh, that's pretty much the the extent that I'm going to talk about the gameplay. Um, I capped some flags, uh, and because of it, I ended up uh, having ten deaths. I think one or two are team kills too, so that doesn't help. Um, in a hardcore, I'm okay with posting a little bit of a uh, lower KD. I end up going 37 and 10. Um, but the primary focus of me uh, talking about right now is Black Ops and the Black Ops reveal uh, that happened tonight. Um, I'm recording this uh, about a half hour after the um, the event uh, took place or finished. So, basically, um, what's going on with Black Ops? Um, there, there's been a fair amount revealed, and uh, while, while ancillary things like uh, weapon weapon lists that are in game um, and that sort of stuff can be found in lists online, um, I simply want to uh, talk. Yeah, and that's that wasn't a quad. Unfortunately, I killed a teammate, but hey, I got my payload. Oh wait, I'm running 5.6.9, there you go. So I am running uh, Pavlo instead of Harriers. And I think that's the only one I get this match. I may get another one and not be able to, yeah, I get another one and not be able to call it in because uh, it was uh, used up. There was already another one up in the air. Uh, but the first thing basically that they told us about Black Ops, um, outside of some uh, multiplayer details, uh, there are going to be camos um, in this game. It's not like World of War. I don't know about gold guns. Um, if anybody has any information about that, please uh, feel free to, to post in the comment sections things that you've learned uh, because as I'm doing this uh, at 11.30 right now, um, it'll probably end up going up about 11 o'clock uh, Eastern uh, tomorrow morning. So uh, the other thing uh, that, that was sort of introduced was a, a new bot mode. Um, there's not going to be a campaign co-op for this, but this bot mode seems to be somewhat taking the place of it. Um, and with that, I'm also sort of... Uh, I, they neglected to mention any any info about zombies. Um, so it seems like what you get in the Hardened Edition and the Prestige Edition with the extra four maps, um, which would be zombie mode uh, from last time for an extra $20, I believe it is. It's $80. I might be uploading, uploading to that because, or upgrading to that, uh, my reservation, because simply uh, it, it is... For twenty dollars, it's about them, about the amount you pay for the DLC for the World of War Zombies, and I would like to play uh, Zombies on um, the new game as I uh, don't have World of War currently. So that is um, that's definitely something. Uh, the bot mode, it looks like you can play co-op with somebody and go through different missions with enemy bots, sort of like Gears of War. Um, except they're not coming into it, this isn't this is separate from multiplayer. This is simply a a single player or a co-op. Um, different like sort of special opsy type things I got the feel that that's what it was um, so that's that uh, some of the confirmed weapons uh, look cool uh, what is confirmed actually is uh, undermounted flamethrowers and while the flamethrower was really overpowered at close range um, in not overpowered I mean it wasn't ridiculously overpowered but it was it was up there um, at close range um, when you were you were doing uh, any sort of like running about uh, milling about uh, with your flamethrower, you could you could just throw it in there and it could just obliterate enemies. And, and granted, that's pretty much what it does. Uh, but I'm willing to I want to see a little bit how they balance that, um, just a little bit. Uh, and the new in-game credit system, which is one of the big things that they revealed, basically in, in taking out XP, they are adding credit points. So you buy things with actual in-game cash. And um, a lot of people are hitting on the fact that you're going to have to pay for Microsoft to, to get more. And I don't think that they're going to do a deal with that like that. Um, that would that would cause too much strife. I, I can't I just can't conceive a way that that would be uh, well taken by the community. Um, having said that, it, it does um, sort of, in in my opinion, eliminate a lot of the uh, 
prestige lobbies, um, but I don't know yet whether or not they will be having a CP lobbies or something like that. I'm sure they'll find a way, and I'm sure that there's going to be a way to hack up. Um, but it does, um, by, by doing that, um, it does sort of give you the option to customize. You buy things as you want them. So any weapon unlocked, if you if you like something uh, over another, you can buy it first. You can buy kill streaks first. You can save your weapons. Only you only use the starting one or two that they give you, um, and it really sort of caters to your playstyle. And I really like that approach. Um, the one th again, the one thing I'm not sure how it's going to affect boosting lobbies and stuff. There is tactical insertion in the game, uh, but I heard from some source that they took uh, join session and progress out, um, which would be uh, like godly awesome especially for those who play on ps3 because people joining your session on ps3 there is no appear offline you can't possibly uh besides t saying please don't join uh, there's no real downright way to, to avoid people joining your session and that i think is going to be really helpful and something that i've been wanting for a while now so uh, having said that uh, so tactical insertions are in the game so, uh, all right um, they are really useful, I, in my opinion, in, in uh, Modern Warfare 2, for some game types like Demolition and Estate, <laughs> specifically, it, they are really useful, and, and you, you can't overlook um, their usefulness at, just because of what the community did with them with boosting. Uh, so, Marathon in this game. Um, Marathon, it, it seems like it's not an unlimited sprint. Again, I don't know the I don't know the full like stats on these things, but Marathon and Lightweight are back. Steady Aim's back. Sleight of Hand is back. If you saw the Wager trailer, um, I'm probably going to upload that soon uh, onto my channel. I just looked at it before doing this commentary. Um, the shotguns uh, are primary weapons. I heard somebody say, so that's that's cool, right? Um, and there are akimbo secondaries. Um, I, I saw in the if if you watch the Wager trailer, you see people with akimbo uh, pistols, akimbo magnums. And that sort of stuff. Um, the c weapon customization system is, I think, uh, something that they upgraded um, immensely. Uh, I, I saw. I don't. Again, I don't know if it's Photoshop or not, but I did see earlier, and uh, it seemed like, well, while uh, noob tubes were actually the most expensive attachment to to unlock for a gun, and I think 1,000 credits. The thing said, um, there are other things like extended mags and silencers, and it, it's just uh, they, they take a fair amount, and you can put ACOGs on secondary. Um, secondary uh, pistols uh, so that it's it's sort of like taking a page out of blacklight and while blacklight failed in its execution I think that um, with a call of duty engine it will uh, sort of uh, surmount any any other uh, a game previously of, of cod uh, in in the, the depth and, and breadth of uh, the weapon customization and that's really cool um, but as always guys I really want to hear your opinions on um, if there is something that's come up that I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, breached on or broached, uh, then definitely post in the comment section. If there's a reflection to something that I've said um, that you have a different opinion on, please post it. Um, I want to, I want to get discussions going on this um, because I, I guess we can use this as a, a useful enough forum. Uh, because I, I don't know, so. I really I may not dig the fact that tactical insertion is back, but I really dig the fact that the camos are in. I'm really psyched about that. I would be even more psyched if they had confirmed gold guns. I don't know how it's going to work. I think the, the challenges, um, I don't know if the challenges are being taken out, but there is this thing called a contract going in. And the contract is a time-limited challenge, so you choose to, um, once, you, once you get it, you choose when you want to complete it. And you have a certain amount of in-game time to complete that challenge. So it, it sort of caters to your playstyle in that effect, and I think it could really be cool. Um, the uh, the launchers um, there is a confirmed in the there is a confirmed uh, thumper type thing. I think it's the China or something something of that sort. Uh, but there is a thumper type thing, um, and the one of my uh, favorite ones when we're t when they were talking about kill streaks, they said that the Sam turret would be in. That's awesome. Um, Sam turret anti aircraft uh, launcher. So if you can, if that's like a placeable, uh, like a, a, not attachment, but just separate entity that you can place on the ground somewhere and it'll shoot down all air support. That's God mode right there. And they said it was going to be a four kill streak. So that for a four kill streak, you can easily just completely obliterate um, any 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 enemy air support. Any enemy. Wow any enemy air support that comes in um, for an extended period of time. I don't know if it's up for the entire match, but that is an incredibly useful thing. I'm sure you're going to be able to go around and try and uh, knife it or something like you can with a sentry gun, but that is, um, that's definitely great uh, to have in-game. And it confirmed in-game. Here I'm like, oh shit, like, like five red dots coming at me and I'm trying not to die. 
Um, so I do, yeah, right right after here is when I switch to my M21, just because I feel like differing it up a bit. But unfortunately, I died two times and don't get a kill with it, so that worked out really well, right? Um, so yeah, if if there's a, any any part of my reflections that I, either you think I I missed or because I'm sure that there are gonna be things that I missed, I mean I'm gonna upload this a good 12 hours after I commentated. Um, so with that, um, this is actually coming to a close. If you like this gameplay, uh, you guys said you wanted to see more hardcore, and this is this is a game type that I find fun to watch, um, and it's also hardcore. So hey. Um, if you like this, click the like button, uh, put a comment to anything I said in the description. What's the thing you're most excited um, for that you heard about uh, that you want to see further? Um, and I will see you guys later. Uh, peace out for the meantime, and see ya.